Billy Corgan, Ethan Page, lots of stuff going on. This is BQ, and I do this for the Impact Wrestling fans. Well, how about instead of focusing on those yahoos, you focus yourself on Eli Drake? All right, so a couple things on the agenda, and I'm going to talk about them really briefly. I've had a, I've had a pretty busy few days, so you know I'm not going to I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's not something I've been uh, sitting and um, pondering on and chopping it up a whole lot about, but um, I do want to talk about them here on the channel. Please subscribe. Before you do anything, um, trying to get up to 2,000, so please hit that subscribe button here on the channel. So I guess the first thing, um, Ethan Page posted a picture and video with the Impact contract and and everything, and I, I'm just gonna cut to the chase here. The dude is doing some great marketing and branding for himself, you know, much like when Cody posted the picture when he was uh, when he left WWE, the picture, you know, the checklist of everyone he wanted to wrestle. And how that kind of went viral, you know. Um, Adam Page uh, announced that he was he was done with Evolve Wrestling, and um, I see what he's doing right now as a as a really genius marketing scheme that gets people talking. And I shouldn't say marketing marketing scheme, marketing plan. Promotion is when you promote yourself and say, "Hey, I got this coming out, and and I'm doing this." Marketing yourself is when you're selling yourself. And I, I often say with, with good marketing and branding, you play word association. And whatever it is in this world, um, you know, whether it's McDonald's, uh, freaking Jiffy Lube, you know, you, you, you name a brand and what are the first words that come to your mind? And this, you know, this goes, uh, goes back to even like the whole TNA thing, uh, why it was really important to get away from that name. But, you know, when you say Ethan Page and you think evolve and he's not a part of evolve anymore what's he gonna do for himself and his brand to stand out do i think he was contacted by impact wrestling or might be yeah i think so but i think you know upon watching that video i really wouldn't put um i'm not saying you know a signing is is uh impossible especially with uh the, the connection to canada and everything but i really wouldn't uh put too much in in what he's doing i think he's establishing himself as a um is a top indie guy right now and he is uh he's just doing some tremendous marketing and i really applaud him for it but you know the, the people are saying oh he's been offered a contract and he's gonna sign let's let's calm down a little bit on that one i think it's um some good branding is going on and that's really all i chop it chop it up to i i don't expect to see him on impact wrestling television anytime soon uh billy corgan conducted an interview I don't remember who it was, so I can't even really uh, quote him at the moment. And he, he talked about the NWA brand, which was funny because I thought I heard that deal fell through. But, you know, apparently it didn't. The article talked about him rebranding NWA, but it didn't really get into much details other than him having a 10-year plan. Now, you should have a 5- or 10-year plan, and that's why, you know, and even Ed Norholm had said he had no plan when he bought Impact, and that's that's not good. But when you see... see uh, Clowns like Justin Labar and everything. So, oh, they're losing money. I wonder what the end game is. Like, motherfucker, companies, businesses, there's always a plan. There's always a five-year plan. There's no um, immediate turnaround. And when you like, when you have a startup, startups are always in the red for the first couple of years. So, planning is always long-term when you have a business. And you know, the, some people just say the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life, but. The key thing that he really said in this was that he talks to Ed Norholm once or twice a week. And there's, you know, basically been talks, how can they help each other? But they're not going to strike any kind of deal unless it's mutually beneficial. He talked about NWA maybe being a second show to impact a la Raw to SmackDown. We've all been wanting a second show for a while. However, I don't think a second show is realistic because the ratings are not um not high enough for that and uh, as i've said before not even wwe's ratings are high i know we live in this wrestling bubble but sitcoms and reality shows get canceled um for more viewers than than like raw has for instance you know what i mean so uh i think that their brand is so strong they can get away with multiple multiple shows but the smaller companies i think for you know the immediate future i think we're really going to be stuck with that one show whether it's ring of honor lucha underground or impact so, uh, I, but I, but I do like the idea of, you know, maybe, maybe they can pull something like that off if it's a, if it's a different brand. And, um, 
I don't know. It'd be interesting. I want to know what you guys think about the whole Billy Corgan thing, and especially some of you who have who have gone more into depth and detail with the article. I mean, I read it, but I kind of sped read it. But that's just what really stood out to me is that they still have a working relationship. I always liked Billy Corgan. I was hoping he was going to purchase the company. I really believed in him and his vision. And I think he, you know, he was going to really utilize some people who weren't being utilized. And I, th- I, you know, the, the wrestlers seemed to like him quite a bit. So interesting stuff going on with that. We're just going to have to stay tuned because it's, it's possible that something happens down the line, but at the same time, if something were going to, I don't really see why he would just throw it out there like that. So perhaps it is kind of dead, but maybe it's something that can be revisited in the future. Let's hope NWA, NWA comes to fruition, um, but, to, but to partner with Impact in one way, shape, or form, especially if this global network ever gets off the ground, um, I think would be really smart and real real fun for us because we could see a lot of crossover. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Again, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm out. Peace.